I'm ready for more. If you fired up, I'm fired up. Don't run from rap. One, two, three. I'm ready for more. Tell them I'm ready. I'm ready for more. Game time. I'm ready for war. Tonight, from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, it's a special New Year's Day edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Kicker Dustin Hopkins set to get this one going. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. This is Tony Pollard. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Time for Dak Prescott of the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Prescott off play action. Sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And this one is incomplete. That one brought back a few nightmares because when a quarterback gets outside of the pocket, your job as a defensive back, make sure you stay as deep as the deepest receiver and not let anyone leak behind you for a big play. A nice job there having discipline and not letting them connect on that pass. So call that a 56-yard punt with a return of about 11. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. The last run got six, now second and four. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And I believe that that gain on third and long changes things quite a bit because this would be a very long field goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it here. And that one's not going to 
get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this will remain a scoreless game. Charles, 54 yards. I'm surprised that came up short. I would agree with that one because normally, if he misses, it's accuracy, not length because he has plenty of leg for that. But maybe it's like I hit my golf shot, you know? Maybe it's like my wedge. You know, when you chili dip and you hit the ground ahead of it, sometimes that'll shorten your distance as well. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're gonna open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Rolling to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Open man wham, it's complete. Whoa, it still won't go down. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. A nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. Runs through the contact. And he'll be out of bounds. Able to get it down to the 25 there. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Five yards remain on second down. Dak's going to tuck and run. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. No score after one on EA Sports. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Now Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now Elliott. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Well, I know a defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited about what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Second and goal from the six this time. They'll try again with Elliott. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries you know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Throwing. Prescott escaping the pressure right. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble and now fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. On the sneak, it's Prescott. Trying to wedge his way in there, no signal. I don't think he got there, he did it. They try the sneak, but not enough push. He doesn't get in. And the Chargers hold tight down near the goal line. 
They started on the ground with Eckler. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. So after a scoreless first quarter, we at least finally get some points on the board. But it can't be what either of us expected, can it? No. The safety's not what you expect for the first points of the game, but one of the goose eggs is gone. This is taken around the 12. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. <laughs> we'll see what his offense can do. Elliott on first down, going to get about three before he's taken down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Play fake. Here's Prescott. They'll roll him out right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. It's a loss of a yard, so they'll wind up crediting it with a sack, and it brings up third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Here's Prescott. Connects here with a tight end, Blake Jarwin. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second down, Prescott again. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 35. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackle made there by the safety, Derwin James. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Flush to his right. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. I think you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here. No doubt about it. What everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time. You may not like the call, but they're usually spot on. And they've got another first and 10 as the penalty keeps this drive moving. Incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and ten. Looking to throw. Prescott. That one complete. Elliott. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. On third down, it's Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Jack Prescott hooking up with Amari Cooper. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. 
Gardner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And that makes this a nine-point game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. On the return, Andre Roberts from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Chargers going to take over now late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. He'll get this to Eckler. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front as an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Herbert now. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw here, Herbert. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first down, it's Herbert. He'll buy some time right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Herbert. It's complete to Cook. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 34-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. Much running room down to the 32. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On second and nine, Herbert. That is caught. It's Williams. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the nine. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there were very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. A plays like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. Now Herbert 
third and goal, sliding out of the pocket. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there. And he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. They snap it to Herbert. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. A great open field tackle that's going to stop him shy of the goal line. They get the completion but cannot push forward into the end zone. And that will force a turnover on downs. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's Prescott. Being chased out left. And now Prescott is going to be taken down. He couldn't get away, and that's a safety. So maybe the defense will have to kickstart the offense here. The first points of the game comes from that defensive unit. Yeah, sometimes you get together and you say, hey, maybe it's on us today. We have to go out and force the issue and make a play and get everyone else going. Here now Roberts. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Here's Herbert. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Williams. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. from the shotgun. Here's Herbert. This is swung out to Eckler. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Go to throw on third down with Herbert. Williams brings it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's Herbert. And that's into the hands of Eckler. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. They'll start the drive with Elliott. He can't get him down. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. 
Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. On first and 10, Prescott eluding the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and four. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Flushed out right. And this is caught by Murray Cooper. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Prescott on first down. And he is caught by Lamb. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 19 on the last play, 19 more here, and another first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Now, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are right back in this football game. Herbert and the Chargers down by seven. 2-11 to go. How costly of an interception will that be? It's time to find out. First and ten. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so it's charger football as we welcome you back from the two minute warning they come up on a first and ten desperately needing a score here on what could be their throw across his body and it's intercepted Picked up by Kelvin Joseph. And the Cowboys have just about sewn up this football game. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for them. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had the receivers on lockdown. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. They go to Elliott again. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. 
Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll kick it away for the second time. It's away, and it's a high kick here, but not high enough to hit the scoreboard here in Dallas. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So out come the Chargers. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. Well, to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Herbert to throw. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing Herbert. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there. And now fourth down. With no timeouts left, that's a dangerous proposition working in the middle of the field. Fortunately for them, that one fell incomplete. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Fourth down for Herbert. Desperation time. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Yes, sir, that touchdown puts them in striking distance. And let me tell you something, forget being conservative here. Go for it. Go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Want to win it right now. Have the momentum. Go ahead and get it done. So now this will be, in all likelihood, to force overtime. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. And he will not get into the end zone. The defense makes the stop of the game on the two-point try. And they might just get out of here with a win after all. Well, Charles, there's a couple of things at play here. I, I don't understand why you don't just kick the PAT to tie it this late in the fourth. If you are going to go for it, though, why the fake kick from the 15? No explanation that I have will make any type of sense. You're exactly right. Kick the extra point, have a tie game, and see what happens down the stretch. But if you're going to go for it, as you said, throw my offense out there, and I like my chances from the two-yard line, not faking it from the 15. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now, this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day.
Prescott here to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are right back in this football game. Well, Charles, a pretty exhilarating finish to the end of this ball game. At the end, the Hail Mary prayers, though, they went unanswered. Could have won it, but couldn't get it done. Almost fell schoolyard or playground, didn't it?